fellow citizens of the United States of Biafra and compatriots. We have started a series of lectures, uh, Biafra 101. Uh, we've had talk one to four, and we have Biafra question and answer 101, one and two. Uh, today we are going to uh, primarily look at the military structure of the Biafran state. Uh, the military of, uh, of the, the, the military of the Biafran state will be made up of the army, the navy, the air force, and we'll also add the paramilitary, uh, which is. Uh, the immigration, the Biafran Intelligence Service, and the Biafran Peru of Investigation. This will be uh, the military and paramilitary uh, at the center in Biafra. How is uh, the Biafran military uh, going to be formed? What will be the foundation of the Biafran military? The foundation will be drawn. The foundation will be built on the people of Biafra. The people of Biafra will own the military of Biafra. The United States of Biafra will have a military that every Biafran will have access to. For that purpose, the military will originate from the people, the military will be recruited from the people, the people will, as I said before, own the military. So there will be compulsory military service for all those who are physically and mentally fit. Compulsory military service. There are two phases of this compulsory military recruitment and training. The first phase is when you leave secondary school, like our secondary school. When you leave secondary school for males, you will be drafted into the army, into, the, into military training, and it will take for male two years and eight months. For female, two years. After your university education, you'll be recruited, you'll be re recruited reconstructed into the army for another compulsory military training for male two years eight months and for female two years so cumulatively for male it will be five years six months military training cumulative for female it will be four years that provide a level playing ground a level playing ground for all Biafrans to have access to the military so after the uh, second phase of training, if you decide to continue in the military, you can decide to become an army, join the army, join the air force, join the navy, join the immigration, join the Biafran intelligence service, or join the Biafran Bureau of Investigation, which will serve as a federal, very small arm, the Biafran Peru of investigation will serve as a small arm, like a police coordinating all, because at the center there will be no police. So it will be like coordinating the, all, the, the agency that coordinate all, because there will be cross-border offenses. For instance, if Aba is a federating unit, and Port Harcourt, and East Environs is also a federating unit. So if a criminal cross from Port Harcourt 
federating a confederating unit into a bar confederating unit. The police from Portaco cannot cross over to arrest them. They will stop at the boundary of the two federating units. It is now, they will now call on the Biafran Bureau of Investigation, which is an arm of the police, which is a police which will now inform the Biafran, the Aba Confederating uh, Unit Police. Now, these, they will now work hand in hand to apprehend the criminal and uh, transfer him back to where the offense was committed, where they have the jurisdiction to try him because the Portacourt uh, Confederating Unit Police cannot cross over the uh, boundary to go into a bar to apprehend him and put him on trial. It will be outside that jurisdiction. That is the BBI, Biafra Bureau of Investigation. It will be like a coordinating, a coordinating a police ministry or just a few officers at the level they will have branches they, they will have offices in all the confederating state that will be config that 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 will be coordinated by the dg who will be in uh the capital now the Biafran intelligence service will deal with intelligent gathering, both as a, uh, external and internal intelligent gathering. And share same intelligence with all the harms of the Biafran military and the police forces. Now, having said that, the military will be in such a way that if all Biafrans are trained in the military, uh, have military training. Uh, they are, they, it will be very difficult for a few people to go and overthrow the government of Biafra, seize government, and say, fellow Biafrans, today we have seized government. No. Biafra will be a democratic government, a government based on the rule of law, a government that will strictly follow the democratic ethos and totally following the democratic norms and, and uh, due process of the law. The due process of the law will be adhered to strictly, strictly, strictly. When you say strictly, strictly. So, a, in such a state, a state, there will be no military people lording over the people, being the, uh, dictatorial, if somebody wears a camouflage, they, they see you on the road, they strip you naked, they flog you, there will be no such thing in Biafra. All Biafrans will be equal, all the rights of all Biafrans will be respected, the, the, primary, the primary duty of the military is to defend the territorial integrity, the dignity and honor of Biafra and our citizens. It is not a, a military that will be brutalizing the people of Biafra, Biafrans, no. They are, they are this thing is that they will defend the territorial integrity. And now, after the training, if you elect to be part of the military, you'll be accepted. It is not just going to be a military that uh, will be talking of arms. The Biafra military will have enough resources to research into weaponry that they are using. We must be able to make our weapons. We must be able to make our weapons and we will surely make it. So our weapons will be made by us, will make the best standard of weapons. The Biafran uh, military should be able to, to have a core of engineering, uh, engineer, uh, uh, an engineering core that will be able to work construct road, construct bridges, construct uh, culverts, be able to respond to
to national emergency and need. If the, the Biafran military will be able to produce most of the things and be able to pay itself. It will not totally rely on the government or, or, of the Biafran state. So the military will be made to go into investment, to invest, like other military all over the world, the military of Israel, the military of the United States of America, of Egypt, of Turkey, they are involved in investment. They are involved in industry. And so the military will be a career, a career where doctors will excel, scientists will excel. It will be an institution. The military will have its own universities. The military will have uh, its own hospitals where they will interact and interface with every Biafra. That will be the military. So anybody who elects to be in the military is a career, you are choosing a career, it can be a medical doctor, it can be anything. Even if you are not in the military, you want to pursue other careers, you, you will be free. But every Biafra will be in, in, in reserve. You are going to be a reserve. At any time when there is, the need arises to protect the territorial integrity of Biafra. If Biafra is threatened, every Biafra will be called to harm. If the dignity of Biafra is brought in, in, in uh, is, 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 is in a, is, is brought into shame, we are going to reclaim our dignity, our honor as a people. Now, a lot of people are afraid that people will attack Biafra through the military, through military coup. It is not going to be possible. Biafra will be structured in such a way that it will be very difficult for one set of Biafrans to go and lord over Biafra by planning military coup because the states, each of the confederating units, will have their own police force. They will have customs if they are the borders. Custom will not be a federal government, a confederate government custom. It will be a confederating unit custom. They will have prison service. They will have other services and they will be harmed. It will be very difficult for one group of people to take it upon themselves to go and plot a coup and then put Biafra, Biafra uh, to put Biafra backward by a military coup. Biafra is going to be brothers and sisters. It's going to be an, uh, we will be an Uhuru. Because Kwame Nkrumah said, seek ye first the kingdom of politics and all others will be added unto you. We will first of all seek the kingdom of politics, the kingdom of making Biafra the greatest nation on the surface of the earth. Because we have the capacity, we have the capability, we have the mental world to achieve that. We have the mad power and we have the mental world to achieve that. A lot of people are deceiving themselves. You ask them, the Wazari is talking on his own and I laugh. Fifty years after you are in Joma, nothing had happened. Fifty years after. Nothing. You talk of restructuring, they say no restructuring. You talk of abrogation of land use, they say it's not been abrogated. You talk of uh, uh, resource control, they say there is nothing like resource control. They insult you every day and now. Dr. Usman Bugaji, my friend, a very good friend of mine, was, was at the Arawa house doing that, saying that the oil in in Ukube, the oil at Soku, the oil in Nembe, the oil at Obioku, the oil at Amatu belong to them. Uh, that was a Biafra. 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 I, I just posted on my wall an historical document which clearly stated 1863 document. Is there? You can go and read it. A, medi a medical manual of the coast of West Africa. And it said, Bonnie and New Calabacalabare are the most important in the beat of Biafra. 
1863. So somebody just come out and he talks, deceive the people. He tells the people that look, uh, we are talking of Niger Delta Rivalry, we are talking of this. He's a liar. He's working for the Futagelon Gambaris. A person who had written so much on restructuring, blah, 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 blah. Is that saying there is no need for restructuring? Somebody tells you that in the investment in Lagos, foreign investment, it is because of our oil that there is investment in Lagos. Dan Gote has gone to build 600 and something thousand barrel refinery in Lagos. Where would oil come from? It is going to be from the from, from the so-called Niger Delta. You are deceiving. You, you set up Pandev. You set up Dimdev. You set up Totem. You talk of this in Eastern, every sort of thing. Everybody is struggling. And they say, Alaji, why don't you want to be? I don't want to be. I've seen it all. Nothing will come out of it. The only solution, the only guarantee for our future, the future of my children, the future of their children, the future of generation unborn is Biafra. If you are not in support of Biafra, you are the traitor. You are a traitor. You, you are a traitor. And the people, the generation that are coming, they will, they will tell you if you are alive. They will spit on your face. They will urinate and defecate on, on your grave for betraying them. You come to talk. You are afraid. You are lily livered. You are a coward. You don't want to stand up and fight. You want to remain where you are. I will not remain with you. Biafran army, the military of Biafra, will be the core foundation of the Biafran people. Our military, they said, if you want peace, prepare for war. Their cattle are everywhere in our communities. They want to build ranches on our land for their people. Every law was made for them. Recently, camp, they put cut off back at uh, 180 over 400. It's not enough. They brought it down to 100 and 120 so that they will, they will behind, they will get, make the law to suit themselves and take their people into the university. Every law must be for their interest. What is your interest? The people who gave quick notice and people said they are not going, when they kill you, you will be in their grave. They said they cannot arrest them. But they want to arrest an army. You cannot arrest an army. You cannot arrest anybody. You cannot arrest anybody. We are all ready to make the sacrifices. I am ready. You have arrested me several times. Nothing has happened. God is on our side. We are very close to our freedom. And Biafra, Biafra is surely going to be free and there's nothing you can do about it if you like go and meet with the enemy plot do whatever you do the almighty god says they plot we too are plotting and at the end we will know who is the best of plotters <laughs>